Hello everybody, this is Bram here, and today I have another command block tutorial for you. We have the shop system, or the buy and sell system, and I'm going to show you how to make it out of commands today. And I know it has been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I am back guys. I'm going to try and stick to one video a week, and yeah, I'm excited to get right into this, so let's just get right into the tutorial. Okay guys, and we've got three different cells over here, one for buying apples, one for selling apples, and one for selling apples as well. So this one you can sell one at a time, and it will say purchase successful, and it would say purchase successful, I can't speak right now. And then on this one you can just stand on the pressure plate and it will remove whatever um, apples or whatever item you choose from your inventory and give you the appropriate amount of money for the amount of apples you have. So, and then on this one, it will say purchase failed if you have no apples left. And then on this one, you can buy one apple for five money, and you can just click that until you run out of money, and it will give you as many apples as you can afford, you know. So, I can afford five apples because I sold five apples, so there we are. And now let's just get into the commands behind it. Okay, guys. Here's the commands, they're pretty simple. Here's the ones that you want to put into your chat bar, so that way it could just set up the commands to work. So you're going to want to type scoreboard objectives add money dummy, um, and then that's the set display name. So you're going to type this into your um, chat bar, so that way it sets up the commands. Um, this is the scoreboard that you're going to be using, and then you type this as the set display. So you put this in quotations, and so that way it saves all like color changes, spaces, or whatever. But that's what's going to display whenever you set display. Like over there on the right side screen, you can see that the set display name is not the same as the scoreboard name, and that's why we do that. And then the next one is scoreboard objective set display sidebar money. So you're setting the display on the sidebar, and then that's choosing what um, scoreboard you're using, which for mine, it's money. And then this is the last command. You want to put this somewhere in a loaded area, and it just adds everybody to the scoreboard. And it's repeat unconditional always active zero ticks, and it's scoreboard players add at a money zero. So you're adding everybody to the scoreboard. So whenever somebody joins, they're added to the right-hand side. Okay, and the next system is the buy system, and we have that connected to this button with this redstone, and it fires these commands, or it activates these commands. So it's impulse unconditional needs redstone at one tick, and it's scoreboard players test at P money five max symbol. So it's testing at the closest player, the scoreboard is money from five to max. The way you get the max symbol is shift eight which is the asterisk symbol and then in the next command that you feed right into it is chain conditional always active zero ticks scoreboard players remove at p money five so you're removing five money from the scoreboard of money the next one is chain conditional always active zero ticks and it's give at p apple one so you're giving your person one apple and then the final one is chain conditional always active zero ticks um, title at p title purchase successful so you're just putting the title the purchase was successful on the player's screen when they um, buy the one apple and then when they don't have enough money we go down here and it's impulse conditional uh, or impulse unconditional needs redstone zero ticks and it's scoreboard players test at P money zero to four. So whenever you test something, whenever you set your price, you want to do it one under the price you have it set because it so that way the fail message only fires when they don't have enough money. That's why you want to do that. And then in the next one, it just is the title or chain conditional always active at zero ticks. Title at P title purchase failed. That way it will just show um, purchase failed whenever you um, click this button. And you want to make sure that this redstone fires both of them at the same time. And um, the test command will actually determine if you have a successful purchase or a failed purchase. So, And then the next one is the sell command. You do the same thing, connect the button up to both of these command blocks, the impulse commands. And then the first one is impulse can unconditional impulse unconditional needs redstone at one tick and it's clear at p apple zero one so you're clearing the one apple from their inventory and then it's chain conditional always active zero ticks 
So if it clears that um, apple from the inventory, it's going to add five money. So players or scoreboard players add at P money five. So you're adding five money to the people who or to the closest player that just lost their apple. And it's like instantaneous. So it happens all at once. But whenever somebody sells an apple, you get five money. And then the last one is the chain command. Chain conditional always active zero ticks. The title at P title purchase successful. So it's just the same command as this actually. And then we go down to the bottom and we do impulse unconditional needs redstone zero ticks. Clear at P apple zero zero. So if it clears no apple whatsoever, then it's going to do chain unconditional always act to zero ticks of a title at P title purchase failed. So if it clears no apple, then it's a purchase failed. And for the final system, we are doing the pressure plate system where whenever you stand on this pressure plate, it just drains your apples and gives you the money back for how many apples you have. So if you sell 25 or five apples for five dollars a piece you're getting 25 dollars so the way you do this is you connect the pressure plate up to activate this command block which is a repeat unconditional needs redstone zero ticks and it's clear at p apple zero one so it will clear every single or one apple um just as fast as it can and then as it's doing that, it does a chain conditional always act as zero ticks, and it does a scoreboard players add at P money five. So as it removes one apple, it will give you five money, and it just does that in a loop constantly until you run out. So that's what makes this really efficient and really cool, is it just does that until you run out, and it's um, actually pretty fast. So like if I grab a stack of apples, which is right here, um, I'll just stand on this and it takes about maybe three seconds to get rid of a stack or something like that. Maybe four. I don't know. I wasn't really counting, but it, it gets rid of a stack pretty fast and it gives me the money over here. I'm at 320 right now, so that's pretty cool. But anyways, guys, that was the shop tutorial where you can sell and buy things with command blocks. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tutorials like this. But anyways, guys, this has been Bram, and I'm out.